a little sound for California. Oh shit, see, it was recording. I don't understand why it's like... <laughs> Welcome y'all to the Motherfusting Truth. What's up, Motherfusters? I'm Stephanie, and this is my girl, Courtney. We are so excited today to start filming our first uh, episode. Um, it's, it's exciting. I'm super excited. I'm super <laughs> pumped. I'm super nervous. Oh my goodness, yes. We're both a little bit nervous. I've never done this before. You kind of have an idea because your husband has a YouTube channel, so and you're somehow on it, but... Um, <laughs> Yeah, I'm really excited to be doing this with you, and it's just, it's already been a crazy ride, and I'm so excited to see how this pans out, and um, yeah, we're ready to talk some real truth here. Real truth. We're going to be yes. spitting the mother fussing truth. Yes. <laughs> and we love, like, the spit on words. That's kind of the idea, yeah. because I think as moms, we kind of have to be a little bit careful with our, our language. I mean, sometimes it happens. Stuff happens, a lot. A lot. but <laughs> so that's in my where... house, anyways, it happens a lot. Yeah. Is that where you got the name from? Like you kind of were thinking about that? Kind of, yeah, yeah. Because I feel like she came up with the name. That's all her, and I loved it. And I was like, let's go for it. So yeah, because we're all just mother fussers, right? <laughs> yeah. Well, it's like mothers we fuss over our kids. That's mm -hmm. what I first thought of when I heard it. So. Yeah. But yeah, we're here to talk about the nitty gritty of mom and we're getting dirty yes a little Super bit of dirty. marriage relationships friendships <laughs> mm -hmm. all the above um but yeah we hope that you enjoy this first episode we're going to be kind of talking about us a little bit get to know us and things like that mm -hmm. so um we have a couple of like topics to talk about so um but yeah so you start off with obviously they know your name but Stephanie, a little bit about yourself you. i've already got forgotten yeah um <laughs> well i'm 28 no, I think I'm 28. Yeah. You know what? Yeah. Days go by. Years go by. <laughs> I had to Google how old I was going to be on my last birthday. So I'm like, like I always stop forget. at 21. No, I'm like, like let me know when I hit 30 and then like 40. And, yeah. <laughs> like, shit, so. I'm getting up there. I'm almost 30 years old. Darn. I feel old. You're as old as my husband. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> but um, anyways, so yeah, 28 years old. I have one son. He is 18 months. His name's Jameson, and um, I've been married for a little over a year, so we'll kind of get into all that background story. Like the back story yeah, pregnancy yeah. and all that stuff, um, and how it came to play, because I know you've been married for a lot longer than I have, yeah. and <laughs> my pregnancy was kind of like, yeah, hello! Yeah, and uh, my, my <laughs> Here we are. were very, very different, so um, yeah, I'm Courtney, I am... I might have to Google my age again. <laughs> I'm 24. A little younger than me. Little, I remember back when I was yes. 24 and I had no kids. Yeah. Maybe I'm 24. <laughs> <laughs> my office number. But, um, yes, Jameson's I, over there laughing at her already. Yes. <laughs> Everyone laughs at me. So, um, I have been married for, I actually know this, I've been married for six years in December. So, and then I have a almost four-year-old, it's going to be four, November 11th, it's coming up. And then um, I have an, a little girl named Evie, Aww. I have a little girl named Evie, and she is about the same age as Jameson. She will be 18 months in November, so, um, but yeah, and so I moved to Alabama. Um, I'm originally not from Alabama. We are both from Neither California. Neither of us are, yes. yes. And um, I moved to Alabama because my husband's in the Army. And so I've also talked about all the other places I've lived. But we actually got transferred to Alabama through his job. We uh, moved from Tennessee. And he, um, basically, they had him change jobs. And so they made us move. And um, we were going to go to Little Rock, Arkansas. And he was in training okay. for... <laughs> he was in training for school and it was funny the guy next to him got Birmingham and he's like oh I don't want to go to Birmingham my family's there <laughs> and so with us being in Tennessee we have family in Tennessee and in Alabama so mm -hmm. my husband switched with him and we came to Alabama so we've been um, in Birmingham for about a year and we will actually be moving a little bit closer to Stephanie um, come next year so we'll only be 30 minutes away instead of like an hour and 30 minutes away yeah. which will be super be nice very convenient so yeah yeah a lot more filming. Yes. 
Well, and then you'll get to follow me along as we move and my new house and decorating it. So it'll be fine. But yeah, and then you guys moved. So you're from Southern California. Yeah. And you Cypress, California. Yeah. No I'm one knows. Where that is. <laughs> Unless you're from that area. Yeah. And then I'm from way up north in California. So yeah. it's like above Sacramento, basically yeah. Nevada. But, yeah. And y'all moved here kind of on a whim, huh? Yeah. So I have family out in Birmingham, actually. And I visited Alabama a couple years ago. And I fell in love with it. So beautiful. Loved how, you know, it was just country. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry for the... Uh... He's excited about the dog. I don't blame him. Yeah. <laughs> Um, anyways, so my husband and I, well, before we were even married, we really wanted to move. We were actually, <laughs> we were actually looking at different places. We looked at Oklahoma, Texas. We were thinking about Tennessee. So Tennessee. yeah, so there was like a lot of different places, um, but we knew we didn't want to stay in the city. We didn't want to stay yeah. in Southern California. It was just expensive. That's yes. one. It was just crowded. I feel like I really wanted my kids to grow up in the outdoors and mm -hmm. to get to the outdoors in you know SoCal. It's like well, there's no two hour drive. Or you know, anything, not really not close. Like not super <laughs> close. Yeah. So, um, I mean, now I have it in my backyard, so yeah, it was a great move. A freaking hill. <laughs> yeah, I actually live on a mountain. Yeah. <laughs> so. And then you're close to the water and stuff. I mm -hmm. know that, like, um, your husband really wanted to be around a lake for bass yes, fishing. Yes, he needed to stuff. fish. That was his thing. <laughs> so, when uh, we actually decided, like, let's just go check out Gunnersville because he's, you know, seen about it, uh, read about it and stuff. Uh, that it's, it's good big, for bass fishing. Yeah, it's really big And for so bass fishing. we just kind of went for our mini moon and ended up buying a house. Or not buying a house, we ended up renting a house, but okay. we got the house like that first trip. Uh -huh. Yeah, and we're just That's like, crazy. let's do it. Let's just go for yeah. it. And so we packed up all our, all our shit. I love stories like that, <laughs> just, where you just like pack up and like move and you just fall in love with mm -hmm. the place. That's kind of how my parents were. I'm sure I'll kind of mention that too, because all of our families out from California now, the mm -hmm. last of our family was my in-laws and they all moved out here a couple months ago. And so they're in um, Huntsville, which is close by to Stephanie. And so that's where we'll be moving as well. Yeah. It's so. not a bad place. It's not a bad area at all. I mean, yeah. you have your typical, you know, bad areas, but like you do in every state. Oh, especially California too. Yeah. Oh um, yeah. We were living Living in the shittiest area of Long Beach, like right over there on MLK, having drive-bys, and it yeah. was just terrifying, but that's all yeah. we can afford. You know, I was living with my dad before we got engaged, before we found out we were pregnant, and it was just, we didn't want to raise, you know, no, a kid at yeah. our parents' house, you know, kind of thing, and so when we ended up moving, that's the only thing we could find was yeah. this tiny little crappy shithole. <laughs> I've lived in some pretty bad houses yeah. too. But, um, and that's kind of how me and my husband were. Like we, when we started dating and, you know, talking about like what we wanted to do after we got married and stuff mm -hmm. like that, we both agreed that we really wanted to move out of California and stuff. So, mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we got married right after he joined the military. So that was pretty easy. It already moved us and stuff. And, um, so and now he'll be getting out so we get to finally settle down and stuff. But I really do love Tennessee and Alabama. Uh, like Alabama's definitely Northern my new Alabama home. is beautiful. Yeah, Tennessee is gorgeous too. And like Tennessee is kinda like mm -hmm. for me still like my home state, even though we didn't like live. What there is it? Too the long. Smoky Mountains? Mm -hmm. Appalachian Mountains? Something? I don't know. They're, They're just mountains. Mountains. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, are those yeah. the same thing? Let us know because I have no idea. You I still don't know all the geography out oh, in this I'm area. The same way too, but like I can tell you all of the mountains and all the highways of California. Oh, exactly. So. 405, the 5, all that shit. Yeah. Oh, that's another reason why we had to get out is the damn traffic. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. To get 30 minutes away would take you an hour yeah. and a half. Here, it's like 30 minutes. Yeah. It's 30 minutes unless you drive fast, then it's like yeah. 20 minutes. Exactly. That's well, that's like it's so funny. It's like, and I've driven down all over Southern California. It's kind of like the worst, more, more worse traffic than like Northern California. And it's so funny. Mm -hmm. It's like, and then like, um, I used to work in Nashville, so I'd have to commute and stuff. And everyone complains about Nashville traffic. I'm like, girl, it's yeah. fine. At it's least we're nothing. moving. <laughs> yeah. Nothing compared so. to California traffic. But, uh, yeah. It's kind of funny well. how two California girls found each other out here in Alabama right. but um I mean since we both had just moved here recently like for me it was really hard because mm -hmm. um this was the first area that like there wasn't a base so you didn't have that military community that I've been used to my mm -hmm. entire adult life pretty much and so um that's how I met Stephanie is that I use the Pina app and I'm we, sure we met on an app it. yes 
But you know what? I met my husband on Tinder. So <laughs> if I can meet my husband on an app, I can meet my good friend on yeah. an app. I'm, so I'm just going to go back. It's 2019. And it makes it, it, makes it easier as mm -hmm. a mom, too, because you don't have time and like to go out for play dates. And even no. then, it's like, I have really good friends we have play dates with. But it's like, I don't even get to talk to them because like, yeah, you're chasing your children. Kids. Yeah. yeah. Especially you and I am, too. Yeah. And they're both like running now. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I started like yeah. looking around the app to kind of meet some friends in Birmingham. And then I was like, like, well, I'm just going to expand my search a little bit. And then it kind of picked up Stephanie mm -hmm. and I saw she was from California. So I was just like, oh, we might have some stuff in common, you know. Just um, two California girls. Yeah. So, and it's kind of crazy how it just all worked out. Yeah. 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 So, nice. But yeah, so you didn't think I was very normal when you saw me. I'm <laughs> That's what she put in our notes. I'm I not going to lie. I won't we tell don't her know. Her face. <laughs> <laughs> so look at the camera and say it. <laughs> Um, but actually, I wanted to do a YouTube channel. I think the beginning of the year in April, I said I was going to do one. And it just never happened. And um, I just feel like I have a lot to say, first of all. Secondly, I feel like there's just so much... Uh... <laughs> what? Just I feel like there's so much uh, glamorization out there on motherhood that I just felt like it wasn't real enough. Mm -hmm. And I don't know... I don't think it's just my pregnancy. I'm sure there's a lot of other pregnancies and motherhood, you know, things that have gone that you're just like, this is different. This isn't the same as everyone else. And no one talks about it. And I think like also too, I was really thinking about this um, yesterday because mm -hmm. of the whole Meghan Markle came out. If you haven't seen that, you probably don't have a Facebook. But everyone's talking I about how... It. Well, <laughs> and I have a Facebook. <laughs> well, and then I'll tell you. So, <laughs> Meghan Markle was interviewed, and I haven't seen too much. I don't really follow a lot of like the royal family or celebrities as much, but I have heard a lot. Obviously, she's a royal, and everyone's obsessed with the royal family. Mm -hmm. And she, you know, they just had so many opinions about her and things like that. And like, either people, you know, didn't like that she wasn't traditional like the rest of, you know, the other women in the family, and this and that. I don't even know exactly what it was. But um, there was an interview that was shared, and it was the interviewer was like, are you okay, though? Like, motherhood's hard, and he, mm -hmm. I don't know much about him. Again, I just, like, saw an article, watched, like, a small clip, but a lot of people were saying that he, I think he's a dad as well, and, like, he's got older kids and stuff, but he's, I'm sure he, like, could sympathize and, like, imagine, like, what his wife went through. Mm -hmm. So he asked her, he's like, are you okay? And, you know, and it's. It was, there was like a whole article that was like, we aren't asking moms if they're okay. It's yeah. always about, you know, how's the baby doing? Is the baby sleeping? Is the baby eating? Not, are you sleeping? Are you eating? Yeah, are you okay? That's very are your important. needs being met? And mm. so that's just, I, I feel like that that was just kind of like a sign last night as we were getting mm -hmm. prepared for this. And it was like, we don't ask moms how they're doing. And there's such a stigma on so many things in yeah. motherhood. And I mean, there's some great times too. Like there's, I mean, I'm not a negative person. I'm more of a realist. I'm going to tell you how it is. And I'm going to tell you what sucks and what's amazing. Mm -hmm. But I mean, ultimately it's all worth it. Yeah, it definitely is. It is. But so. also with the whole thing, uh, asking about mothers and stuff, it's super important because postpartum depression is a huge thing. Yes. It is real. It is very mm -hmm. real. And we're going to be talking about that a yeah. lot. Yeah, we'll be have talking. a whole separate episode, but I just wanted to say, you know, that's why I feel like it's very important to check up on moms. It is. Because you yeah. don't know what they're fighting inside their own heads, and yeah. that's what, you know, happens with a... I see those mothers who, you know, kill their babies and then themselves or, you yeah. know, kill themselves because of it. Yeah. And I think, like, did anyone ask her if she's all right? Yeah. You know? And then it's... I mean, it's such a tricky situation yeah. because, like, some moms, too, they'll, br they'll brush it off and stuff. And there's such a fine line, too. It's like, mm -hmm. you know, they might say that they're okay, but you know that they're not. And mm -hmm. it's like, what line do you walk Face to of depression. Be? Yeah. yeah. Is like that... But, you like, know, what line do you okay. walk yeah. to, like, really intervene and be like, no, you're mm -hmm. not okay? Because some people can get offended by that. Or mm -hmm. if you, like, try to help out, it's like, oh, well, they like it to be a certain way and stuff. So, yeah. like, it's always hard, but I think as long as we all try to do yeah. that for moms. And we'll have a whole episode on yeah. postpartum depression and just depression in general and anxiety yeah. and Well, depression like from, like, different experiences mm -hmm. in motherhood, too, and losing so children, um, at different stages and things like that. That's something that's really important to me to talk about. Mm -hmm. So, um, yeah, we're going to be talking a lot about that. So, um, but that's kind of why, we, why you start this channel and yes. get the idea. I wanted to get the truth out there, you mm -hmm. know, the nasty, yeah. dirty, funny. I don't remember how we truth. started talking about this either. Like, I don't either, but I just remember 
remember thinking I wanted to do a podcast and I was like, well, I'm, I kept bouncing back ideas, YouTube podcast. Mm-hmm. And then when we started talking and then I was like, well, why don't you do a podcast with me? Yeah. Because I was like, I'm not going to do a podcast by myself. Like nobody's <laughs> going to want to listen to just yeah. me talk. And that was my exact <laughs> thoughts too, because you know? when I thought about doing a podcast, I love to talk. If you know me personally, you know, I'm sorry. Same. But, um, I always kind of thought about that too, but it was like, mm-hmm. yeah, I love having like people to bounce ideas off of. And you'll kind of see like, we're very in agreement on a lot of stuff, mm-hmm. but some stuff we have a little bit different and we have so many different experiences. So yeah. I really love. Yeah. I feel like we're very opposite in a lot of ways, Yeah, but you know, the same. Yeah. But I love that, like, you know, we get to do this together. Like, I feel like this was, like, a match made in heaven for something like this. So, <laughs> but, yeah, we decided to do a YouTube channel um, yeah. just with other stuff. It just kind of seemed to work out and stuff. And now you get to see us a little bit more. But um, it is going to be more of, like, a you know, we're sitting here and drinking coffee and water. Sometimes we'll have some wine. But it's really just going to be, like, an intimate thing. So mm-hmm. you can treat it like a podcast. Turn on an episode, do your dishes, work out, listen to yeah. it in the car. Um, we will have, like, a lot more, like, you know, interactive videos, like, behind the scenes. Yeah, live um, videos. Yeah. So, just kind of treat these episodes like a podcast. Like, mm-hmm. you can turn them on, listen to them in your car, when you're cooking, cleaning, whatever. But it's really going to be, like, just sitting down with a friend. Like, you know, me and her are talking. We're still getting to know each other, which is actually really fun. Yeah, so, so you'll see a lot of that interaction in our videos, which I think is pretty cool. Because, yeah. Because, you know, it's going to be genuine. It is. Um, like, emotion mm-hmm. and yeah, we, I expression. Mean, we so. haven't really talked about, like, too, too much. It's more, mm-hmm. like, recent stuff. Yeah, so. we've touched a little base on our personal stuff. But but it's gonna be fun to like hear the bloody disgusting mess, you know. <laughs> well, I think we've kept what we've it. been through. I think we kind of kept it that way for a reason because mm-hmm. we really want it to be genuine. Like we're kind of getting to know each other and mm-hmm. stuff, and so I think that's gonna be really fun to see. And I'm excited to watch it myself, like how it comes out. But. Basically, yeah, we're just going to be sitting here, but we're going to be doing some, you know, videos like behind the scenes. We'll mm-hmm. be showing our kids a little bit. Um, and then, you know, as like things come up and stuff, we'll be doing more fun behind the scenes videos. Like, especially I want to be showing y'all my house when I redecorate it. Oh, we'll do. So fun. Yes. And she's going <laughs> to help me decorate shopping. my office too. So I will have yeah. an office that will hopefully start filming there next year. Mm-hmm. Um, so we can definitely do a lot more of those fun videos for you that like more interactive, like seeing more stuff instead of just watching us yeah, here. Yeah, kind of like in but, a vlog, a vlog way. Yeah, but you that's know? not But let be... us know what you guys want yeah. to see. You know, we have so much coming up. We're going to be talking about our pregnancy, our labor stories, talking about, you know, postpartum, postpartum um, we're just gonna, you know, Are we mom moments. Well, when we first <laughs> talked about doing podcasts, we had over 30 episode yeah. ideas. And so, so we're on it. <laughs> well, now that we're doing YouTube videos, we don't want y'all to be here for like a full hour yeah. unless you want to. Let us know. But um, <laughs> we're, we're going to have to cut it down. So there's going to be a lot of part one, part two videos. Mm-hmm. And so I think if we cut it just in half, which we might have to cut some of our ideas in like thirds, that's going to be well over 60 stuff that we already have planned out. Mm-hmm. And then real life on top of it, we might add in some different stuff, some stuff that we want to really talk about like yeah. here and now. So... It's, yeah, we got a lot to say, so yeah. get ready. We're super excited. But, um, yeah, so, like she said, on our next episode, we will talk about how we became moms, like, getting pregnant, how the pregnancy went. The good and the bad. Yes, and then we'll That's also bad. have videos on labor, so, like, those are going to be coming up for sure, um, and then, yeah, so, and we also have some social media, we have it all yep. set up. So Instagram, you can find us. Um, we also have a Facebook page, yeah. and we like to do some live videos and things like that when we get together. Um, mm-hmm. We will be sharing like kind of more, a little bit about ourselves, and then you can also find our Instagram handles to follow us on Instagram mm-hmm. um, and see a little bit more of just like us on our own. Yeah. So you can kind of get to know us a little yeah. bit differently. Get to know us. Yeah. So and I'm We're crazy. I'm pretty, so I'm on Instagram a lot, so <laughs> send me a message, chat with us. Um, we really, we want to get to know everyone. Like, we want this to be like a community and a tribe, so. Can you hear that little pitter patter? Man down. That's but, some real mom, yeah. mom truths right there. <laughs> like Can't keep fine. them out. You're We're fine. just recording with him, yeah. Yes. Touchdown. But also, <laughs> don't forget to subscribe. Yes. Just subscribe. Yes, like um, our channels. Um, Please uh, share with all your friends, with your yeah. family. 
husbands, you know, <laughs> we're going to be talking about some nitty gritty oh, yeah. shit. You we're know, gonna we're going to actually try to do an episode with our husbands. We're going to have, <laughs> we're going to question them. Yeah. yeah. So I you'll think, look out for that yeah. one. Yeah. I'll be fine. So, and I think we will probably end up doing is asking you guys what questions do you mm-hmm. want to know from men? And so we can ask them that. Because so they're important too. Yeah. Cats are important. We'll, we'll probably be doing like a question and answer depending on how many questions we get. I mm-hmm. might be like a two and a three part one. Yeah. But we'll, we'll get questions from y'all. I have questions I want to ask. And we will be asking our husbands like the same questions so you can kind of mm-hmm. get an idea. And I think it'd be really fun. It may be something to watch with your boyfriend, fiance, husband. Yeah. Whatever. Um, Baby daddy. Yeah. <laughs> that too. Um, but yeah. And today is Halloween. Yes. Everybody, please have a safe and spooky Halloween. Yes. What is Jameson going to dress up as? Jameson is a little Danny Zuko from Greece. He's yeah. not very happy about it in there. I mean, yeah, I mean, probably to put a little hair gel on him. I wouldn't be happy. Yeah. Hairspray. <laughs> yeah. Um, Liam is going to be a fireman. He's obsessed. And um, Evie is his little fire dog. She's a little Dalmatian. So um, I'm sure if you follow me on social media, you will see the pictures. Oh, it's yeah. adorable. So, and that'd be fun too. So a lot of stuff that we talk about, you might already be seeing it on our social media before we talk about it. Mm-hmm. So, cause um, we'll be sharing more like what's going on now in our lives as well. We'll probably fit that in, in different mm-hmm. ways. Um, so, but, and then we'll kind of stick with certain topics that, you know, obviously pregnancy and labor happened a while ago. Um, but we'll definitely be kind of a mix of like some of our past experiences and the present experiences. So yeah. All right guys, until next week, we'll see you guys. Um, keep on telling that mother for some truth. Every Thursday. Every Thursday. See ya.